Hello everyone. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. In this video, we'll learn about SAP BR tools. So these BR tools are provided by SAP for Oracle Database Administration. Okay, these are used specifically for Oracle Database. Okay, because Oracle Database is widely used by most of the clients. Okay, so SAP has come up with this BR tools. Okay to manage and administrate the Oracle database. So earlier, uh, uh, they used to be SAP DBA, okay, to manage the database, okay. But now for Oracle, SAP has come up with the BR tools. SAP provides the tools, BR Backup, BR Archive, BR Restore, BR Recover, BR Space, BR Connect, and BR tools to manage and protect the data in your oracle database okay so we have a set of different tools br backup uh, br archive br restore br recover br space br connect and br tools okay so these are one two three four five six seven so total the br star tools consists of seven individual tools okay so these are used to manage and protect the data in your oracle database the br tools okay so when i say br tools okay this br star tools is nothing but it's the set of all these seven okay and in that even br tools is an individual tool okay so the set of tools is nothing but it's a program package containing all these okay br backup br archive br restore br recover space connect and tools okay so you have archive backup restore recover space connect and the the other one is the tools now this br tools which is a sub program in the br star tools collection of tools this is the program that displays the menu from which the other br programs are called okay so it is from this br tools you will call the other six tools okay so to invoke the br star tools you use br tools okay so that's why these two are used synonymously br star tools or br tools it's only from the br tools you call the other six tools and these are installed automatically on the database server in the directory okay in your kernel usr sap sap side is this executor okay so these tools are automatically installed in your kernel okay so if you go to this kernel in the run directory you, uh, along with the other kernel uh, executables along with the other dynamic libraries you have these br all these seven tools there okay these will be present there so if you have to install br tools in your SAP system, you have to download this PR tools package from your SAP service marketplace. You have to uncard them and put them in your kernel directory. Now, the following features apply to all the PR tools. It's nothing but it's a menu driven interface, including G GUI in English or German. Okay. So you have the menu driven interface. You have the G latest it has come up with the GUI also and it comes in two languages english and german context sensitive supporting information detail and summary logs available with the operating systems unix and microsoft windows and command line options for experts okay so you have many driven interface you have gui you have command line interface okay then it comes up with unix and microsoft windows you can see the detail and summary logs and you can see the context sensitive supporting information too okay so this is nothing but br tools is used to manage and administrate the oracle database it contains a set of seven tools br backup br archive br restore br recover br space br connect and br tools okay so this br tools is the program from which all the other tools are involved okay and all these set of tools seven tools are stored in the kernel directory okay okay and these are the features of the br tools now 
As an example, the following graphic shows the integration of backup, restore, and recovery tools. So this is nothing but an example. You have the Oracle database where you have the control files, the data files, the online read log files, offline read log files. Now, before I go into this example, okay, I want to because this training is about SAP basis administration. So a basis administrator is supposed to have some basic knowledge about the database and operating system okay because these terms which i am talking here like control files data files online data log and offline data log files these are the files which are present in the oracle database okay so if you are not aware of this please refer to the basic documentation of an oracle database and an instance okay so if you go through that then only you will understand what are, what are the terms and talking here like the control the data files the online data log and the offline data log okay so just to brief up for those who don't know okay control files are nothing but they they control everything in the database data files they store the actual data online data log files oracle whatever changes are made to the oracle database they are recorded those change statements are recorded in the redo log files so you have online and the other one is offline okay so once a redo log you have n n number of redo log files which are online so once a redo log file completes and it goes to the next redo log file the first one will be backed up as then it will be archived okay the best the term i have to use is archived and those are known as offline redo log files okay so so just go through the basic documentation of an oracle database and an instance okay so an sap basis administrator is supposed to have some basic knowledge about the database as well as the operating system okay so otherwise you will not understand what these terms are okay and just just leave your understanding part to do sap administration you are supposed to do some part of database administration and os uh, database administration okay and even os okay so you should be familiar with the terminology okay in db2 or oracle or whatever it is the database okay you should be you should be familiar with those terminology like what are the files which are present in the database and how the instance how the instance you know is made up like what all it contains like we have learned about an sap instance so similarly you should know about an oracle instance or a db2 instance okay and and the other terms like what does the database contain okay so please go through that okay that point i am mentioning clearly that you should have some basic knowledge about the database okay to understand these things okay so i have just briefed up like what these files are now when we talk about our br tools okay so the br backup it backs up the control file and the data files okay and we have the br archive okay so it it, it you know backs up this archive log files okay and the other two are the restore and the recover okay so the data files and the online redo log, uh, redo log files will be restored and recovery is done here again restoration recovery okay so please please go through the basic documentation of an oracle instance in a database to understand these things okay restore means say like your database is running some crash has happened so till that whatever point of time you want to restore your database okay so you have to bring so because that's why daily they take backups so you put the backup back into the database after the crash the latest successful backup and then you that is the restoration and you recover the database okay so please go through again okay so that's what so these these tools they work on the files of the database and they do various operations like backup recovery restoration okay and this is the media the backup media okay so this is just an example to show like how br tools works on the various files of the database okay now 
the tool set for br tools okay see here here in this slide and in the next slide okay so what all i am talking it, it it you know these are the terms which are used in oracle database okay so if you are totally blank about oracle database you will not be able to understand them that's why before just you know uh, knowing about br tools please study about an oracle database okay the basic concepts are enough like what what does an instance contain what does a database contain okay so how it works okay those things you should be aware of now pr backup it backs up the data files the control files and the online redo log files that's what backup it backs up the data control and online redo log files so these three are backed up okay so why we follow this backup strategy production systems are supposed to be up they should have 100 percent uptime they should have minimum or zero percent downtime that's why in case of a crash or a recovery if something happens okay we shouldn't like there should be no data loss that's why in production systems especially like every day generally once the backup run or sometimes like time critical high availability okay, even they they can schedule backup twice also per day generally in all the production systems the database is backed up daily once okay so this br backup is used to back up the data files the control files and the online data log files br archive it backs up the offline data log files okay or nothing but the archive files now br restore this restores the data files the control files and read log files okay recover it recovers the database files and restores profiles in log files okay now space this manages the database instance the space and segments that is table and indexes okay so space means uh, say your database grows you have to add some data files to it okay so that is that is taken care by this br space the connect this performs the database administration tasks such as statistics update check database system adapt next instance clean up logs and dba tables okay and functions as help tool to monitor the database during a backup so connect connect is again internally called during a, the bis br backup okay to monitor the backup and connect mostly performs the database administration tasks now br tools this this is nothing but it's the menu from which the other br programs are called and the functions as an internal help tool started by br backup archive and restore okay and br gui okay now latest we have even the gui interface earlier we used to have only the menu driven interface or the command line interface now even we have the br gui so functions are as java based gui working as the front end display program for br tools okay so with the help of java okay we have a user friendly uh, display okay using br gui okay so here i'm um, uh, in the slide it shows like each tool and what is the purpose of that tool the next one is the tool types for br tools so the tools are again classified as functional help badge and interactive okay so in this slide i have discussed the purpose of each tool now this slide we will we have different tools okay and they are again classified into different types as functional help batch or interactive okay so the functional tools are backup archive restore recover space and connect okay so these perform actions directly on the database files or objects okay so other than pr tools all the other six are the functional tools okay they act directly on the database files the help tools are br tools and connect okay so br tools is the menu uh, program that calls the other functional tools interactively this br tools and br connect these are also called internally okay that's what because the br backup calls br connect okay so even the br tools are started internally by backup archive and restore okay then br tools is called by br backup archive and restore okay 
for backup, restore, and verification. And we are connect this call by VR backup to monitor the database during a backup. Okay, so the help tools are VR tools and VR connect. Okay, the tools is nothing but it's used to call the other programs and connect is used for database administration. Okay, so the BR tools is again internally called by backup, archive, and restore. Okay, and BR connect is called internally in BR backup. Now, the batch tools we have a BR backup, archive, restore, and connect only run on their own in batch without menus. You can call them interactively with BR tools. Okay, so archive backup restore and connect you they are called as batch okay they are called in their own batch and you can call them from br tools also and the interactive ones are br space recover and br tools okay these run interactively with their own menus space and recover can also run in batch mode okay so this is nothing but the different types okay of br tools okay more all uh, apart from br tools all the other six tools are functional tools the help are br tools and br connect okay and you have batch and interactive okay so uh, this is all about this sap br tools okay so this is used for oracle database administration okay you have seven sub tools backup archive restore recover space connect and br tools these are there in the kernel okay then uh, this is an example you know showing like how br tools work on the database files okay and this this slide is important okay because i have listed the purpose of each tool backup archive restore recover so what what each tool does okay and in addition we also have br gui okay so it's a java based user friendly gui and and the next one is the different uh, the types of you know how the classification is made depending upon the types okay so we have functional help batch and interactive okay so again i am repeating before going through this video please refer to the oracle documentation of you know the basic database administration instance database what are the files in the database and how everything work okay it's, it's just not only you know to understand this video but being an sap basis administrator you are supposed to have some optimal knowledge about the database and operating system also otherwise it will be difficult to do this database administration part in sap okay so that's why i'm uh, stressing on that okay yeah so just keep on watching edubedia world videos bye thank you